What is up guys, Joe Snow right here, welcome to iDevice Central channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to speed up your phone, your iPhone, your iPod or your iPad, how to clean it, to clean the temporary files and so on and so forth, and also how to fix it if the iOS system is broken and you don't want to um, update and restore and lose your data. I'm speaking of course about an application created by Tenorshare and the application is called Tenorshare iCare Phone. Well, before we, uh, we get into the application, you can go ahead on this website and get it. It offers a free trial that you can use or you can buy the application. I have it a full version and I'm going to show you and I'm going to review it for you to be able to see if it's worth buying or getting the app or not. But keep in mind, this is the world's number one software for iOS system care. All right, so what this application can do? At first, the most important, it can repair your iOS system if it's uh, stuck in recovery mode, for example, or a black screen or white screen or Apple logo, it can fix the apps crashing on the iPhone, iPad or iPod touch. Uh, if the iPhone restarts randomly, it can fix that. The black screen and the blue screen of death, and I got the blue screen of death on my iPhone 5S. Uh, the iPhone 5S users, users know about that issue. And the uh, iPhone becomes sluggish after updating. It can fix that as well and so on. Also, it has a built-in uh, photo, music and video bookmark and so on and so forth uh, file transfer that we're going to get into it in a couple of seconds. And it can clean your iPhone's free space and get the uh, device to work faster. We're going to get into this uh, feature in a couple of seconds. But I found a very interesting thing about this application. It can block in-app ads. Uh, you know that silly games you play sometimes and uh, you cannot play the game because an app, uh, the application shows a big advertisement that has to be uh, closed or so on. This application can fix that and um, can kill of course a lot of things, a lot of um, ads that appear in apps. And let's see if this application can really do this because as you can see the reviews are pretty good. So. If you want, uh, if you want to, to download it, it comes as a DMG file that you can get right here and you simply need to drag and drop it into the applications folder and you're done. Well, now let's see the application on its, um, its work. All right, I got the uh, full version of the application so that I can uh, review every single feature of it. I'm going to start by connecting an iPhone 5. You can connect, of course, any device. And it's worth to know that this application is also compatible with iOS 10, which is something extremely good. It's compatible with all devices created by Apple. So that's good. I'm going to connect my iPhone 5. Let's see if I can speed it up and if it detects anything wrong with the device. The device works kind of slow, if you ask me, now that it's on iOS 10.1. Of course, it got it iOS 10.1, and I got a notification saying that my iPhone has 309 megabits of um, files that can be cleaned. We're going to go to speed up and clean first, and I'm going to quick scan it. It will analyze your phone, you don't have to touch anything on the phone or something like this. You just need to press the app. The application has a very great interface. And as you can see, 524 megabit of space can be recovered by cleaning up junk files, temporary files, photos that were deleted but not completely deleted, uh, apps that saved uh, more info and so on. I'm going to clean. You can clean them separately. This is good. If I don't want to delete something, then I can simply don't do that. All right, so as you can see, you get this um, dialogues and for example, the apps. It will detect automatically what applications you have and you can go ahead and uninstall the apps that you don't think are useful anymore. And this is good because it gives you the ability to see all your apps that have been installed. For example, I have this app and I'm going to remove it because I no longer want it. But it will also delete its, its temporary files. All right. Now, let's see the file manager. I really want to see the file manager uh, if it works or not. Well, I'm going to go to apps. This file manager is very good because it also gives you the ability to install an application from an IPA. This is good. And this is 
a great feature for a file manager. I can simply select the app I want to install and it will be installed on the phone. I can back up, I can uninstall the apps and so on. And gives you a couple of information right here, pretty good. Let's see on the music. This is something I liked. Uh, because I never, I was never a fan of importing music on the phone using iTunes because it's a tedious process and takes too much. This helps me simply click add and I'm going to simply select the music but I don't have any music on the Mac and everything will be exported to the phone or I can simply mark and delete anything I want. So it's pretty simple. And it's the same for notes, for calendar and so on, for photos and videos and yeah but I don't think I have any videos right here, no I don't. But you can also add photos to the phone and so on. Backup and restore. Well, of course, uh, as Tenorshare a company already um, got us thinking about, they have a backup and restore function. And they can backup your phone very easy and you can have all your, all your backups right here. It's pretty simple, you don't even need to use iTunes and it's pretty cool, it takes everything into one single place so that you can use one single application as an alternative for iTunes if, you're, if you don't like iTunes and you don't want to use it for any reason you want. Alright, so it's backing up, easy and simple. And now I can of course uh, restore this uh, backup or remove it. I'm going to, oh sorry, this one. And it says the owner, iTunes and iCare phone. So you always know which is which. I'm going to remove this one, yes. And this uh, feature as well is pretty good, ads remove. You get to remove the ads from uh, an app, but the applications I have don't have any ads. And this is kind of good. I'm going to put my phone in recovery mode. This gives you the ability to connect the uh, device in recovery mode if you need it in recovery mode without pressing the uh, home button and power button for 10 seconds, then for 30 and so on. You just need to press a button and this is cool. And then if the iPhone uh, is stuck in recovery mode, for example, because some issues can prevent your device from starting, you click right here and you can restore it. You can restore it through the, um, the update method so you don't lose your data. But if this doesn't work for you, you can go ahead and, um, and use a uh, much protected method that will actually remove data. But if your phone is stuck in recovery mode and shows the uh, iTunes logo and the power cable, simply pressing exit recovery mode will fix that issue because it works with the arguments, the boot arguments, and it simply goes. Okay, so we're waiting for the device to get connected again. I'm gonna go back to home. As you can see, the iPhone uh, was restarted from the um, recovery mode and we're waiting for it to see if it starts normally. As you can see, it detected my phone and it says your iPhone 5 is now connected and the iOS system is functioning properly. No need to repair. So you understand, but this, this feature, let me put my passcode, Right, this feature is pretty cool because it gives you the ability to speed up the phone by removing the junk and by removing anything that's useless inside the phone. This is a feature you see a lot on Android, but for, um, for iOS, it sim iOS simply lacks an application or a, um, a system that can speed up the phone. You can simply go ahead and install some cleaner from the store. There, are any, there aren't any cleaners. So this is something good that you can use to keep your phone in shape. And if, if you thought this only works with newer devices, think about the iPhone 4. You can connect your iPhone 4 and speed it up. You probably know that iOS 7.1.2 is not the fastest iOS on the iPhone 4. Well, using this speeder, you can get the, uh, the iPhone 4 to work faster by removing the junk or by removing the additional information that you don't really need. For example, I'm going to clean up and there we go. And this space, when, you, when you're trying to count it, it simply gets uh, into the phone and you get to get more space, of course, by cleaning here and there. You can update this and it shows you, of course, the content, the free space and the system partition. This is about this application. It comes in two different languages, in Espanol, and you can also check for updates or get to about section. If you want to download this application, as I said, you can go ahead right here, right now. 
We trust a lot these guys from Tenorshare because we, we use right here at FC365 their applications and those applications really do their job. We also reviewed something from them a couple of weeks ago, was an application for, how, uh, for recovering data. You can see right here, oh, one week ago. How to recover lost and deleted iPhone data. It's an application created by them, this one right here called iPhone Data Recovery. That's another masterpiece from uh, Tenorshare that I recommend personally and that works. So yeah, this is it guys. I really hope this application will help you in the future. If you, if you have any problems or if your device gets slower or is broken. So you know, now you know what application to use. This is it guys, thanks for watching, till the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, check out Tenorshare's application, you can even download a free trial to test the app if you want, and till the next time, peace out!